from the Thai boxing team. With an official weight of 96.6 kilograms, he has a record of 10 fights with 8 wins and 2 losses. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Viking, Alex Roberts. And his opponent. Job all night, sir, and very interesting as well. Darius Douch is the referee's first and only assignment of the night, and he gets the main event mainly because he's the he's bigger the big, referee the and he can handle them. these massive heavyweights, especially the Viking. How big does he look? But uh, big Jono, the crazy nut, got to be a crazy nut to get in the ring with, uh, with the Viking, that's for sure. But this main event is proudly brought to you by Next Ride. They specialise in performance cars and they'll also purchase your unique vehicle with one easy, painless process. They're located at 464 Canning Highway in Como. For more information and to look them up, go to nextdrive.com.au. But we're finally here, Brett Benetti here, still here with you with the fantastic event of the Road to Rock Muay Thai Grand Prix. Pleasure to have your company this evening, and I'm still joined by the six-time world champion, Kaylee Reese, and we're here for this main event. We've been looking forward to it. A lot of us spoken about it in the media this week, and uh, again, the Viking looks very big, scary. Dude. Scary. <laughs> I'll say that, but he's a nice guy as well. And, and he puts uh, I've, 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 obviously, I know Al, I follow him on Instagram and everything like that, and I've seen the amount of work he puts into his training. He's very... Um, He's very strict on his diet and his strength and conditioning training as well as his Muay Thai. Um, as you can see, he's yeah, in pretty fine, fine shape well. there. Yeah. yeah, he's a physio, so he's... Um, strength and conditioning coach yeah. as well. So I asked him who wants to fight one day as well, and he said, whoever has the WBC belt, I want. So at that time, whoever has it, that's who wants to fight. I mean, and look, he looks like he's, he's 32 years old, you know, obviously in his prime. And uh, straight after this, he just wants to go out and get some pizza and ice cream. That's nice. what his favourite food is. Easy. Obviously, you can tell he doesn't eat too much of it. <laughs> he's, in, in, he's in great shape, that's for sure. Exactly. So, again, uh, John O'Harman, again, he's, uh, he's basically normally trained by Nick, Nick Siebert, but he's cornered tonight by Darren Reese and the team, Riddler team. So, uh, and obviously Blair Smith cornering uh, Alex uh, the Viking Roberts uh, from the pits. Uh, great team there at the pits. So, uh, again, uh, we're finally here. It's uh, loosening up. Darius Downs is making sure everything is above board on both fighters. Then we're going to get set. And this heavyweight clash, you can tell the heavyweights just by looking at them, is scheduled for three three-minute rounds if... It goes that far. I mean, heavyweights, they just have to like, land that one punch, doesn't they? No, it's, it can just be over in a split second. And that's the reason why I say if, because there's been a lot of predictions coming my way tonight and during the week. Let's see if it comes to fruition. And here we go, round one of our main event. Look at that kick to start off with. And Big Jono, the crazy nut, just says, yeah, oh, you missed that by a fair bit. I mean, not taking any, anything away from Jono. Obviously, Al is in great shape, but a heavyweight's a heavyweight, isn't it? Exactly. They're throwing some big bombs. You can still already see there. Jono's throwing a, uh, yeah, throwing a, he yeah, throwing a heavy shot. Straight uh, kick there by the Viking. He's uh, stalking uh, big Jono at the moment. Uh, a crazy nut. process and, uh, oh that's a big punch by Alex Roberts get tied up straight away I think 
looking at uh, Armand felt that one. Nice kick there by Roberts. A oh, bit of a uh, Warbrook wardrobe malfunction. A welcome little break, even if it is short. Oh, body shot by Roberts. Now, oh. Carly Reese, you said you liked the slap, but did you feel that one? Oh, Mikey is going in big. I think the Robert. I think John O's hurt. After that flurry, another elbow there by Roberts. Armand tries to fight back with a front kick, but he's getting overwhelmed so far by Alex Roberts. Elbow. I think that opened him up as well. He's probably, he's probably, he's yeah, probably, he's probably, probably up his legs. He's had enough. I think this is going to be over very shortly, and Darius Downs comes in to separate and get an eight count. Oh, no, he doesn't. Body shot, elbow from Roberts. He's overwhelming. Armand right now early in round one. We've got a minute left. Oh, another nice elbow. Oh, he's wobbly. Jono's feeling it right now. A very brave Jono Armand. And he gets thrown to the ground by Alex Roberts. But he's in a lot of trouble, Kaylee. Body shot upstairs. Down to the body again. I think Jono needs to tie him up very quickly. He's right in front of his corner. He's well, he got definitely hurt the body. You can see that right side of his body. He's, he's carrying his hands low. Well, he looked like there was a bit of an opening there, but he's got a few seconds to survive this opening round. He throws deep. Can he get through the opening round? I think he's done extremely well to get through the opening round of this one because Alex Roberts had Jono Armand in a world of hurt. because he might have expended a lot of energy around round one where it gives jo Jono Armour the opportunity to get back in this one. Uh, I, think I, I, think his, I think his cardio is pretty good. <laughs> Trying to give him a bit of hope there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking at Jono here now. He, he's he probably sitting there thinking, how the hell am I going to... What the hell am I going to do? Again, Alex round? is very fresh. He's, he's very fit man. Again, if he's a, a physio and strength and conditioning coach, he knows how to look after himself and he's in fine condition. So here we go, round two, scheduled for three. And let's see what Jono Armand can do. He is the crazy nut for a reason against the Viking Alex Roberts. Rob Benetti here, ringside with Kaylee Reese, the six time world champion. There was a tie kick thrown by Jono. But uh, I think that Alex Roberts is looking for his opening to finish this fight. That's what it looked like in round one. You never know in this game, with heavyweights, all it takes is one shot, as Carly Reese has said. I've also said that as well. Nice shot to the body. A bit of a slower pace to start round two. Nice attempted kick there by John O'Armond. Body shot there. He's going in again. I'm not Opposite. too sure how much more Jono's body can take from those body shots. I'm not sure how much weight he's cut for the fight, and that, that all sort of 
plays a big part too of how much your body can actually handle. Now the ball, there was a bit of a low blow there, so gives Jono Armin a bit of a reprieve. I think he should take as much time as he's got to sort of uh, get through this moment and then uh, attack it again. Again, I've got to love what John O'Harman does in his spare time. He's the case manager for drug and alcohol rehab. Rehab, back on again. I love that he always wants to help people. Viking. Goes in again, and I think that John is doing very well in this round. Oh, that was a nice elbow, as I say that, from Alex Roberts. It might have him hurt again. Oh, that's oh. a high blow. Oh, he's hit him while he's down. Oh, he shouldn't have followed up with that. There should be a warning coming from Darius Douch, but that was a low blow to John O'Armand. But he's followed up with the kick uh, with the punch as well. Got to take it the full five minutes here. That hurt. That's one of those ones that we don't want to hear. That was loud too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was loud, but it's one of the ones we don't want to hear. But again, Alex Roberts has got to be careful. He threw, he threw a punch while he was down, and that could have been a disqualification for him if it landed clean. So he's very lucky. Should be a warning coming in the crowd, getting right behind John O'Armond here. Oh, he's fired up. He's in there, he's in it. I love this. That That's probably what he needs to fight. He's going after Alex Roberts. And he can still say that. I mean, I know Alex is probably landing a lot more. Wow, what a John is throwing some hard, hard crosses there too. Big overhands. Alex is still maintaining that nice technique, throwing some nice kicks. Oh, that, 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 that might be it. That, that is going in for the finish is Alex Roberts. He's hurt John o. Roberts there. But all we need is John O'Arman to fire up again. That might be it. He's calling he's calling out count as Darius Douch. Take the full out count out eight count. The crowd is so loud in here at Kern Stadium. Perth, Western Australia. Main event of the road to Muay Thai Grand Prix as Alex Roberts comes in to finish the fight. It might not be too far away, and he survives! End of round two, well done to the crazy nut John O'Armand. Took a lot of, lot of punishment, but I love that he got fired up and he landed some shots at him on his own and got back into that one in round two. Loved it. Yeah, like I said, um, obviously ours up on points and everything like that, but it just takes one of those big overhands to land. You just never know. As I said on air during this week on Sport and Them, it was a prediction that Alex Roberts was going to finish it early, and I said, it. hey, you never know. John O'Arman has a lot of heart, and he's not called the crazy nut for nothing. <laughs> so, uh, and we're into the third and final round of this one. So, if he can make it all the way, he's to fight all the experts on their predictions. Not mine, I didn't call it, but I wasn't going to call it because I was calling the fight. But, uh, Again, I know how you can see how big Alex uh, Roberts is. He's called the Viking for a reason. But uh, you got, you've got to admire the heart of John O'Armand. Because he's been in trouble in round one. He's been in trouble in round two. He and he's still going. Out, and he's still in there. And he said that he hasn't trained much for the fight too because he's been in lockdown. I don't know how many days he's been in lockdown, but he said he hasn't been able to get access to a pad, pad holder as often as... He would have liked. I think he feels the love for the crowd here, from the crowd here at Curtin Stadium. Got all the fans in the house. And he's not letting them down, that's for sure. We're in the main event, and we've got one round to go. The heavyweights, three by three minute rounds. And we come out to round three. Proudly brought to you by Next Stride. Go to nextride.com.au. They touch gloves, a lot of respect. Darius Gats has done a great job separating these heavyweights. Alex Roberts is going to want to finish the fight. John O'Armand is going to want to survive and find his opening. He feels he's still in it. Oh, 
Oh! Both exchange kicks to the body. Great check there by Jono Armand. I'd love to know who these guys spar in the gym. I mean, they're so big. Crazy guys. <laughs> Probably find some people I mean, normally, around here. Yeah, normally, normally you've got people around the same size as you in the gym and you can sort of have training partners, but these guys are so big, I wonder, you know, when they get in the ring and they fight each other, do they feel really heavy against each other because they're not training with people the same size as them? Yeah, very interesting question to ask in the future. So you come up, come up with the great questions for me to ask in the future, <laughs> that's for sure, Paley. But uh, Jono looks like he's been opened up here. got just under two minutes to go and the crowd is egging John O'Arm and Don, they want him to get to the end, he deserves it, but those are nice elbows from Alex Roberts. Another elbow thrown there as Darius Douch comes in to separate him, he should be warning Alex Roberts there. He's, going, he's asking John O'Arm if he's alright, of course he's going to say alright, he doesn't give up. Nice shot to the body, but this is what Jono needs. He needs to tie up the Viking, keep him here and get time off the clock and then go in for the final few seconds to try and cause an upset because he's got the ability to do it. He's going to start to struggle to see Jono. You can see the blood's dripping down straight into his eyes, which becomes a little bit of a problem. Again, now Jono Armand has landed a nice right hand to the left side of of Alex Roberts as well because he does have a little bit of a mouse on the eyebrow so he has landed and I believe that happened in round two when he went after him when he got fired up oh he's hurt again but he fires back big Jono Jono the crazy nut Armand 46 seconds left he's here for the fight isn't he oh Falling time, so he's going to take this time to recover, and he's got just over 40 seconds left in this one to get through to the end and go to the judges' scorecards. You have to admire what John O'Armand is able to endure and come back from. Alex Roberts is a he's beast. He's taken some absolute punishing shots and still standing. Here comes the warning from Darius Douch. Great job because that's what it should be coming because there's been a couple of low blows. I'm pretty sure he just said to them, if you if one more and you've got a point taken off, I'm pretty sure that's what he's just told Alex. You see, Alex there just... Oh, that's a punch from Jono. That was a great punch by Jono Williams. Jono Harmon, I should say. <laughs> 30 seconds left in the main event. Flying Superman punch attempt by John O'Arman, but he's hurt. You can hear John saying it's okay. He's shaking the blood off his eyes. He just wants to finish. Now, I think he was complaining about a headbutt, but I didn't see one. But I think it's a good tactic by John O'Arman regardless because, again, he's taking time off to recover in the last 20 seconds of this one. There you go, it was even less time. And he does it, he reaches the distance. John O'Armand and Alex Roberts, what a main event. Alex Roberts all over John O'Armand, especially in the first two rounds. John O'Armand takes How tough is end. John o. He's tough, that's tough. the reason why I said it was a big call for him to finish early. I knew how tough John O'Armand is and he showed it. Wow, just wow. And I think Alex Roberts would be disappointed that he didn't finish the fight. But John O'Arman should hold his head up high because he went up there against the Viking and got through it all. Yeah, I mean, John has had 30 fights. He's, he's no stranger to the ring. And I think, you know, having that many fights, you do have that experience behind you. He would have obviously fought, you know, 30 heavyweights, and yeah. that's that's some experience behind you. Yeah. I know. And, again, he took so much punishment early in the fight. Round two was hurt, he got a standing, standing A count, and he, and he got through it all. I, again, I still think Alex Roberts was very lucky that, uh, that a punch after the low blow when he was down, if it landed more flush, it could have been over, he could have been disqualified. It didn't land uh, as flush, but Jono was hurt. Again, we felt it. We didn't want it. We didn't want to hear it or feel it, but uh, it was a hard one, that's for sure. Look, Jono's had the fight of his life and he's still got the uh, energy to go over and thank Alex in the pit. Yeah, and we're just waiting. CJ, I think, is ready. We've got our sponsor from Next Drive ready to present the winner's trophy. And 
we're going to send it up to CJ to make our, our main event official and declare the winner of the Road to Points High Grand Prix main event. Let's send it up to CJ for the results. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.